Hills with more on the partial view we got here in the Bay Area, Tori. Hi, Gossia. Space lovers have been patiently waiting for this celestial event, and let me tell you, this crowd was amped up. A line of more than 400 people waited outside to get into the Chabot Center here to get a glimpse of that eclipse through those safety sunglasses. We're going to show you a little bit of what, what we saw. Now, that total solar eclipse darkened the sky across some parts of the U.S. just after 10 a.m. and reached its peak at 11.13 a.m. Experts say that because the moon is slowly getting further away, total solar eclipses may not last forever, but it's okay. They'll be around for another 100 million years or so. But millions of people look towards the heavens with the necessary protective eyewear, of course, just to get a glimpse. Now, around 400 folks lined up outside the Chabot Space and Science Center as they eagerly awaited this eclipse. Kids and adults alike were incredibly stoked to witness this, and they also knew just how unique the experience is. We caught up with a few folks during and after the eclipse to see what they thought. I was just really excited for like seeing the eclipse. It's probably my, like my first time seeing it, wow. and I'm not sure when the next one's coming. Probably like when I'm like in my teens. What do you see? A man, man. When I look in the sun, um, it's like you could see part, kind of like it looks like the sun is kind of like looks like Pac-Man, but also a bit like um orange. Does it look like a cookie with a big bite out of it? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Back out here live at the Chabot Space and Science Center. Now, it was a packed house here today. Most of the people have started to work their way out of it. You can see some people are still here taking in the view, especially through Leia, that eight inch refracting telescope, which was open for people to be able to view the eclipse today. It had a solar, uh, solar filter on it so you could safely view it. These people have been so excited. I have been so impressed, in particular, with the knowledge that the children brought here today. Many of the parents of these children told me that it was the kids who motivated them to come up here in the first place and they were so informed about space let's just say the future of space and astronomy is bright live in oakland tori Gaines, ktvu fox 2 news